Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a haul, so I'm very excited to share with you an airy haul today because I was browsing on their site, and you know, it's fall, holiday, winter time, so they've released a ton of new sweaters, and you guys know I have a soft spot for sweaters. I really, as always, should not be buying more, but I have been clearing up my closet recently, so I feel like I can add a couple more in to replace the ones that I've been selling on Poshmark. And by the way, if you guys want to shop my closet at all, make sure to check out my Poshmark. I'm gonna link it down below in the description bar, but my handle is going to be here as well. But this is more of an airy haul than a Poshmark video, so let's just jump right into it. So I've got a ton of things with me here today, and some of them I've already tried on for kind of like a first impression, so I know what to expect and I can share with you how I kind of like thought about them. So we're gonna dive right into the sweaters. I have a ton of them. I think I got like six sweaters and two pairs of pants and I can't wait to show you my thoughts with these. Also want to note this is I think the very first video that I'm filming with this new background here. If you guys follow me on TikTok or Instagram then you definitely have seen um, when we did kind of like the framing of these frames. No, that, that sounded stupid. When we put up these frames, so these are from a company called The Poster Store. A bunch of them are. One of them is from HomeSense though. I think that one's actually off the frame of the video. So you won't be able to see it, but let me know if you guys would be interested in kind of seeing like a room tour. I feel like this really pulls together a living room now for the longest time. The wall behind me was blank and I felt like it just felt so bare. So I'm very excited now that it's all put up and we kind of have like some more things going on in the background. What do you guys think? Let me know. I can also link all of the posters that I pick from the poster store in the description box below as well if you guys like any of them. But I think you can only really see like one or two. No, yeah, just two. You can see this one here and this one directly behind me right here. I have a total of seven up here though. So, you know, there's a lot to see. I can always move the camera around to give you guys different angles, but I'm kind of excited to have this. It's like a different background than what I'm used to, so it's kind of cool. Okay, jumping back right into this airy haul. I'm sorry, I go on tangents, guys. So the very first sweater that I got was this micro fleece one that looks like this. It's in white, it has a buttoned up collar and long sleeves, comes down to the bottom here, has a pocket in the front, which is amazing. So you can put your hands in there if you're outside so you're not cold. And also has slits on the side here. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of these slits, so you'll already know my thoughts on this sweater. But I was actually primarily drawn to this sweater because of how soft it looks. This actually reminds me a lot of those blankets that they give to babies, I think, like the micro fleece ones that are so soft. And I'm obsessed with soft clothes. I don't know why anybody wouldn't be, but I mean, if you see soft clothes, at least for me, I instantly wanna put it on and wear it. So if my clothes are comfortable and soft to the touch, I am a fan. Unfortunately, the inside of this one is actually not the same material as the outside. Like, don't you hate when that happens? When the outside looks and feels amazing and then you touch the inside and it's like, ugh, like why did they do that? The inside of this one, it's not lined with anything. I think it's just the under texture of this material. It's like a Henley cross hatch. And although it's not scratchy, it's just not soft on the skin. And I was really anticipating this micro fleece on my skin because it felt really nice on the outside. So I was a little bit bummed by that. And because of that, I think unfortunately I'm not going to be keeping this sweater. Mostly just because I wanted it for the softness and it didn't give me that on the inside and it's only on the outside. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Who's gonna be walking around petting you and be like, ooh, you're soft? When on the inside, I just wanna touch myself and feel like, ooh, I am soft. <laughs> well, I'm not soft, but the sweater is soft and it's on my skin and that's what I wanna pay for. So, the sweater's gonna go back. Uh, these buttons are also a little bit difficult to undo, I found, since they actually go all the way up to the top of your neck. If I was to keep this, I don't think I would ever have this fully buttoned all the way to the top, to be honest. It probably, only ever have the bottom two and this would just like flop open like a v-neck here but to get your head into this if you're gonna button it all the way up you do have the takeoff buttons and because they're not the easiest to take on and off i don't know i just found it kind of annoying so all things being said and done this sweater will be returned back to airy it was very cute on though it's just functionality and what I intended it for didn't really suit my needs, so this one's going to be going bye-bye. You guys know I have a soft spot for browns and caramel, so I got the exact same sweater in this shade, and this shade is really, really pretty. I actually think I was drawn to this shade originally in this silhouette when I first saw this online, and then I saw the white one, and I was like, you know what, if I don't like this color, then I'll gravitate towards white. I'll probably like that. The problem with browns and caramels is that usually when you see them online versus what you get in person, it's very, very different. So I wanted to make sure that I already had one color at least that I knew I would like. Beiges are usually pretty easy to achieve and I end up liking majority beige clothing that I 
get anyways. So I wanted that as a backup, but since I went through the hurdles of putting that one on in between the lack of softness on the insides, the buttons being really annoying, and then the slit on the sides, I ended up actually getting quite sad since I was excited for this color and it turned out to have the same features. Another thing I noticed about this shirt too is that the sleeves are kind of short and they're kind of wide at the cuff here. Usually I don't mind wide cuffs for sleeves, except I find that if the cuff is wider, I prefer the sleeve to be a little bit longer. Otherwise it looks like I just put on a shrunken shirt or I put on a child's top because it's too short for my arms. So I think it ends perfectly like right about my wrist here, but because the width of the cuff is actually like quite wide, it just looks disproportionate to my arm length. And it actually looks like I'm too big for this sweater. And this sweater has quite a boxy cut. So it literally just looks like I have an inappropriately sized shirt, not inappropriately, but a wrong size shirt. And it just didn't look cute. So unfortunately, even though I love the color, everything else about this sweater just didn't work out. So it's also going to be going back to Airy. Next up is the sweater I'm actually so excited for. I actually was almost about to check out before I purchased this one, but then I saw a picture of a model wearing it. And I was like, where is this? I have this habit of only perusing through the news section. And I guess this wasn't exactly new at the time when I was on the site. So I had to kind of like scramble around in their sweaters and cards to look for this and it is this other micro fleece sweater so this one similar ish to the very first one I showed you guys except instead of buttons it has a zipper so this is actually quite easy to pull up and down in the front and it's really nice because it has this beige like a darker tan beige trim around the rest of the sweater so the sweater is kind of like a knit micro fleece material it's very soft very squishy also stretchy as well since it's like a knit pattern the um fabric isn't too it's not like a one piece sheet of fabric so it stretches with your movements the cuff also has that dark brown tan um, trim on the edge as well and so does the base of the sweater right here so I like these extra finishing touches I feel like it makes the sweater look a little bit more unique there are no pockets in the front at the bottom like kangaroo pockets but there is one small little pocket at the top here and usually I want pockets so I can put my hands into them when I feel cold luckily the sleeves on this one are long enough and this sweater is quite stretchy so I can actually put my whole hands inside of these ones probably ruined the sweater in the process while doing it, but it's definitely gonna keep my hands warm. I just also really loved how easy it was to take this on and off with a zipper. I didn't have to fumble around with buttons. And I think the zipper actually gave this sweater a leg up compared to the other one that I tried on. I'm not quite sure what it is about these sweaters that I have an obsession for right now, like the half zip and the half button up. It has that very utilitarian alpine vibe to it. Like, you know the sweaters you'd wear when you go skiing? You unzip it down a little bit when you're really hot, but it doesn't unzip all the way so that you don't get super cold I like I don't know why but I really like those sweaters right now and I was super drawn to this one I also really like the fact that the inside of this one is just as soft as the outside you guys know from the other sweater was not a fan about the fact that the inside wasn't soft like the outside it just doesn't make sense to me and you're paying for a comfortable sweater you want to make sure that it's comfy this one for sure is comfy and I am a huge fan of it I feel like I am being hugged by a cloud when I wear this one so I think I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one and it's also a little bit longer as well overall hemline for the torso it comes quite long onto your body I think it almost covers my bum like I said, the sleeves are also quite long. So although it's an oversized fit, because it has that like stretchability to the knit, it kind of actually forms to your body a little bit. It's a little bit weird, but it also keeps you really warm as well. I wore this for about like half an hour when I was walking around the house testing it out and I really liked it. So I'm a huge fan of this one. I think it also comes in a dark brown and gray variant, similar to how this one is a beige and tan. So check that out if you want a black sweater. I said I had an obsession with these like utilitarian alpine skiing sweaters and I was not wrong. I ended up getting another one as well. Looks like this, this is the green version. It's very different material than the other one. It is still a knit, but it's more like a yarn knit as opposed to that micro fleece knit. And I like this one too because it has a zipper making it really easy to open and shut the collar in the front here. So this one, you, when you actually zip it all the way up, kind of turns into like a mock turtleneck. It gives you a half fold down. It's not long enough to give a full fold, but you can fold a little bit. I love this one because this one is actually a different color than most of the sweaters I have. I think I have one other sweater in this color from Aritzia that got back in like 
high school or university and this is probably the second one that I'll get in that shade. You guys have probably already noticed that I've been really liking dark greens recently so this is gonna more or less grow my earthy tones green collection. Similar to the other one, it has a nice long body and long arms, so I'm a huge fan of that. It also has a slightly dropped shoulder, so it gives it more of a slouchy look. However, even though it is a slouchy silhouette overall, it's not too loose. It has a kind of slightly, I guess, cuffed bottom here. It turns into a different knit, and although it's not like a tight cuffing at the bottom, it does bring in the shape of the sweater a little bit. I actually really like tucking the sweater into the waist of my jeans to give it more of like a bubble effect and kind of give it more of like a clean tucked look, but you can definitely just let it hang and the sweater ends beautifully on your hips. I have no issues with it at all. Once again, the hands as well too, at the bottom of the wrist, there's a very slight cuff here, nothing too crazy, but it will kind of like shrink into your wrist a little bit and give your arms a little bit of warmth in the winter time if you're gonna be wearing this outdoors. So I had to also get the exact same sweater in white. I'm actually wearing it right now. I loved it so much that I put it on and kind of decided to wear it for the video. I always also get questions as to what I'm wearing in the videos along with what I'm showing. So I felt like it would just make more sense for me to wear something that I already have that I got for the haul because a lot of the stuff that I wear for my videos a lot of the times are from like last year the year before and I can't find links to them anymore so I think it's just easier if I do it this way so this is the white creamy version exact same one as the green sweater that I just showed you guys like I said it has a really really versatile and easy zip going up the front here making it really nice for you to zip it open <laughs> and shut if you need to. I actually prefer this over the buttons. So I think if I'm ever going to be looking for a sweater like this in the future, I'll definitely gravitate towards a zipper version. The arms here are a little bit short. I find that for some reason they're actually a little bit shorter than the green ones. But because they're cuffed, unlike the beige one I showed you at first, it actually doesn't look short on my arm. It actually makes my arms look fine. If it was like a really wide cuff, that's like I said, where it makes my arms look a little bit stumpy. So I'm a huge fan of this sweater. And since I already have the beige one on, you can probably already guess I'm gonna be keeping this one because it fits so nicely. And it actually like, it's quite soft of a knit, even though it's not one of those like super fuzzy, soft to the touch knits. It has like a nice slight fuzz to it. So I'm a fan, cause I feel like, like I'm rubbing like a teddy bear when I touch myself, if that sounds weird. I only have two more things left to share with you guys and they're actually bottoms. So you know earlier this year in the summer, I bought a matching sweater and short set. So I could kind of like a lounge set to walk around the house and wear it comfortably and it would match if I had to go out and run and do groceries. I feel like Airy likes to bring back a lot of their similar colors every season in different silhouettes. So you can kind of grow on a color if it's a particular one that you like. That shade was like the olive shade and I noticed that they just recently released a pair of joggers also in the olive shade. It's not the exact same material that I have for the sweater and the shorts so it won't match exactly. This is actually more of a similar material to that oversized baggy beige sweater that I had. Like I think it's like the oversized corded sweater is what they call it. It's very similar material but in the olive color. So I got it in the jogger pants to see how they would match the sweater. They actually match the sweater quite well and I really really like it even though the textures are off. I think it still works together since the colors are the exact same. I could also even wear this with that beige sweater and just like make it fit. But now that I have these it's making me want to buy that sweater in a green and I don't know if I even searched to see if they had that sweater in the olive color. So many of you guys I love that sweater when I showed it to you in my haul, but unfortunately it's sold out like hotcakes, so I wasn't able to find it again, but I did link a couple similar ones in I believe my previous video from Airy, so that if you're looking for a similar-ish type of sweater, you'll be able to get that look without getting the exact same sweater since it wasn't available anymore. I'm really hoping though that they uh, bring it back out and reissue it so that you guys can get a hold of it for yourself because it's a really, really nice one. But I tried these on and these actually fit so, so, so well. It just like sculpts your butt and it tapers down at the ankles really nicely and it's so comfortable to the touch. I'm a huge fan. There are pockets in the front of the pants here with like a nice little drawstring. This is a real drawstring, not a faux one. I hate the pants where the drawstring just goes through the middle here and when you're trying to like tighten the pants, you're like, why is it not tightening? This one goes all the way around the waist so you actually can tighten the pants even though it's also elasticated. So if you need that little extra push, and to squeeze in, you can. There's also a little butt pocket here. I never really use these pockets, so I don't know how functional it will be, but just want to mention that it's there. And at the bottom of the pants, there is a cuffing right here. I always like cuffing when it comes to my sweatpants in the winter time, because I find that it helps to prevent any air from traveling up my pants and making me feel cold, because that's the last thing we want in the winter time. But a huge fan of these ones, and I really love them. And now I want to get them in all the other different colors 
and to get the right colors to match that beige sweater that I have too. All right, the very last thing I'm gonna show you guys is another pair of joggers. These ones are a beige shade, and this one actually comes with a matching sweater. Unfortunately, this sweater was completely sold out in my size, so I only picked up the joggers just to see how they would fit. They have this like really interesting fleecy texture. It's very similar and reminiscent to teddy bears that I had when I was a kid. It looked really nice on the website, but unfortunately when I actually got it in person, it kind of looks cheap. Like it looks like a pair of sweatpants that you've worn for like a year or two and they're all matted now and you wouldn't wear it ever again. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna keep these. Probably not, I just don't like the look of it. It looks like it should have been that soft fleece in the first two sweaters that I showed you guys, but it's been flattened down with wear and tear. And it just doesn't look cute anymore. And also added to the color, I don't know who thought this would be a cute color. It just looks like a really old pair of pants, doesn't it? Like. There's nothing really cute about this, and it's also really baggy. It's not super form-fitting and doesn't hug your butt or anything. So there's nothing really going for these pants. The inside is also not soft, similar to that sweater. It's like that micro fleecy material on the outside, and in the inside it's just like cotton, like a cotton stitch. So I am actually really disappointed in these pants, and I'm quite glad that the sweater was not in stock. Otherwise, if I bought the two of them, I'd be really annoyed with myself. But this one is going to be going straight back to airy. It does have two pockets in the front, though. So if you like the look of these pants and the color of it, just letting you know that there is that functionality of the two pockets. The drawstring at the front, once again, is a real drawstring, not a faux one, so you can definitely tighten it. It's also actually really loose, I found. So I had to tighten this quite a bit in order to keep it sitting at the level that I wanted to on my waist. And then the bottom also has the cupping, so it'll keep you warm. In the, so it'll keep you warm in the winter time. I'm just not a fan of these. They just look like old, dirty pants that someone just washed like way too many times and has had them for like two to five years. So unfortunately, these ones are going to be going straight back to Airy for me. So that is a whole haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you can see, there were quite a few winners and quite a few losers from the pieces that I ordered in. I'm very excited with the ones that I kept though. I think I'm gonna really love them and they're gonna be versatile pieces in the long run. You guys know I have a sweet spot for sweaters, so of course I only kept sweaters instead of pants. And since we're gonna be spending a lot more time indoors this holiday season, we're not gonna be able to see our friends as much because of the pandemic. I think, you know, it's best to go back to around like April, May time when all we were wearing was loungewear. I can really get on that train. If all we wear is loungewear 24 seven, I am a happy gal. I also apologize for the lighting. It has drastically dropped since I began filming this video. I was gonna film a couple more, but I don't think that's gonna be feasible anymore more because it's gotten so freaking dark and as I'm filming this let me just check my phone it's 4 45 p.m. sunsets here at 4 30 this is terrible oh I don't know what I'm gonna do fortunately December 21st is the winter equinox I think so that is the shortest day of the year and then after that the days only get longer which is phenomenal so we have like five weeks to get through before that's over and we can go back to normal again and I don't have to rush to film videos and end them before five o'clock in the day that would be great. Wouldn't it if I could just get some more time to build videos so you guys wouldn't have to sit through this darkness. Ah! I'll probably add some filters and editing just to brighten it up a little bit so it's not too dark and it's actually pleasant for you to view, but I apologize profusely in the meantime for the constant changing of the lighting situation here. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like first impressions walkthrough of my Airy haul and their recent fall and winter collections that they've been releasing. Let me know which ones are your favorite pieces down below and if there are any pieces that you would keep that I am currently returning or if you thought vice versa, the pieces that I'm keeping, if you absolutely hated them and would return them yourselves. I'm, I'm always really interested to see what you guys think of the stuff that I keep and return. So let me know in the comments down below. If you guys wanna get more content from me, you can follow me on Instagram right here or you can also follow me on TikTok right here. I post on those ones a lot more frequently than I do on YouTube. So yeah, if you're not sick of me in here yet, you can get a lot more content over there. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.